Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your daily read for Thursday the 4th of June 2020 for all signs. So as usual it may or may not resonate for you. This is probably not for everybody. So just choose what resonates for you. Okay. We have the Frog Princess. Heed wise counsel. It's time to listen. I'm going to pull one more. Bats in the Belfry. You can achieve great things. But it's time to listen. In order to see the way forward in order to achieve there is a feeling of there's some sound advice or it could even be the form of intuition it can be somebody counseling you giving you advice maybe it's a counselor even some of you might be seeing a counselor what do we have please angel spirits guides <clears throat> yeah <laughs> kind of answers the question for us really doesn't it listen to your intuition <laughs> you're being guided in a direction now so this is the tarot of dreams I'm just going to pull some cards and see what we get what is the message please people need to hear the fourth of June 2020. Seven of Coins. The Ten of Wands. Knight of Wands coming out a lot at the moment, the Knight of Wands, card of Sagittarius. The Star. Ten of Wands is clarified by the Queen of Cups. And the Magician clarifies the Knight of Wands. Bottom of the deck is <laughs> the Nine of Cups. It is a card of achievement, happiness, fulfillment, contentment. So we've seen these cards, Heed Wise Counsel, and it's your own counsel. It's coming from your own intuition to see how to move forward because we have the Vision card here. Now this is beautiful because this is Divine Wish Fulfillment card as well. The universe, angels, spirit, wanting to give you a blessing here. You're being blessed along the journey. And this is the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment card. You making your hopes and dreams happen. You bringing in the achievement. You getting to the place where you need to be that makes you feel happy, uh, successful, feel like you've achieved something. And I say achievement because with the Nine of Cups, you see somebody generally with a, a, a trophy shelf of cups behind them. And it is symbolizing their achievement by switching on to the action that they need to take. They are bringing in achievement on every level into their life. It's not just to do with money. It's not just to do with happiness. There can be an element of celebration here. Um, but I feel for some of you that this is very much about bringing your hopes, dreams and wishes to reality on every level now. And this is a card of dare to dream. This is about having a vision, having a new hope, a new dream, a new vision. Because for some of you, it's within your grasp. You can achieve great things. You can achieve this. You need to listen to your instincts now. Because this is, the Seven of Coins is a card of, there is a level of success coming your way. You might not feel it is happening right now. This can be a card of frustration. Putting all the work and energy into this vision, into this direction, into what you want to make happen, what this dream, what the objective is right now, what you want to convert into your real space, into your reality, which is the nines. The nines can be about making something happen here. Um, but it's not happening fast enough. And there's a message here that you need to evaluate where your, your 
allocating your time and effort where you're investing your money, where you're investing your time, where you're investing your energy. Because not everything is giving you the reward. Now that could be in terms of business and career, that could be in terms of relationships. What am I getting back? Am I being paid what the effort I put in for the work that I do? Am I be getting back from a relationship what I'm putting into this? You know, it could be a life review as well. You know, it could be across everything. I mean, you kind of get what I'm saying. This is, you know the vision, you know what you wanna make happen. You've been working really hard to try and make it happen but you kind of feel like you're getting a bit stuck in a rut here. And this is evaluating where you're spending your time and energy and where you're wasting your time and energy. Because as soon as you reallocate that space, that time, that energy towards something that is really gonna bring you growth and only invest in one vision, one goal, one objective, that is when things start to really change and good things start to happen. It's powerful energy, the Seven of Pentacles. But it is the test. It is Saturn, Saturn in Taurus. It is time, how you're investing your time, how you're investing your energy. You need to learn the lessons from using your time wisely here. Because for some of you, there's a feeling of, it's interesting, this can be about burdens, but I'm just feeling this linked with the Ten of Pen sorry, with the Seven of Pentacles more in the fact that you're, you're, you're just, the pressure, the responsibility, the challenge, the work that you have to do is, is feeling too much. I feel this is getting on top of you. Something is getting on top of you here, um, the Ten of Wands. And this is where the Queen of Cups comes in, water and water, to say, you need to really listen to your intuition in order to achieve this opportunity, in order to achieve this goal, this vision. You need to really listen to your instincts now, your intuition and really evaluate where you focus your time and energy because that's how you get out of whatever this is and I'm feeling that quite strong there could be this could be the person giving you the counsel as well I will say this could be the person giving you the counsel because the Queen of Cups is somebody who is compassionate, who is a good listener, who is caring. So it can be a motherly, a nurturing, a caring figure. Can also make very good counsellors. Um, you kind of get what I'm saying, but I'm feeling this is your intuition as well. This is your intuition. And I feel once you've done that evaluation, the magician is saying, now it is time to really be in your power, to understand that there are things in the external world that you cannot control, but how things affect you in your inner space, that's what you can control. This is first and foremost about mastery of self. And once you master self, that is when you're able to transform things in your external environment. This is saying that you've got everything that, they, that you need to bring transformation to your life, combined with the blessing, the blessings that the universe wants to bring into you now, the magic. Now is the time to go for it. Now is the time to get take the reins of your life. Now is the time to charge ahead. Now the Knight of Wands can be to do with an opportunity. You know, this can be also communication. Some communication with regard to an opportunity that you've been working towards. But if this is you, this is absolutely about charging ahead. Suddenly when you do the evaluation and really listen to your instincts 
and are in your power, you know, this is when things begin to shift, the energy begins to shift, things begin to happen. So the Knight of Wands is a really powerful, beautiful energy. And it is towards this. Happiness, fulfilment, celebration, wishes coming true, achieving the goal. Achieving what you set out to achieve. So beautiful, beautiful energy. And remember, this is Piscean energy, 12th house of magic, a spirit as well, which is why it's so connected to your intuition, because there is powerful guidance leading you towards this goal. It's beautiful energy. I'm going to pull a couple of cards just to finish this off. Let's get an extra card for the Knight of Wands, please. Let's get an extra card for the Knight of Wands. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, things shifting, things turning in your favour, a powerful shift. It could be to do with an opportunity. This can be opportunity opening up for you, the Wheel of Fortune, good luck, good fortune. There could be some reason, reason to celebrate here as well. Uh, this can be about celebration. Let's pull one for the Nine of Cups. Victory. Yeah. Card of Cancer again. So there could be uh, Cancer here influencing some of you, uh, guiding you forward as well. Uh, but like I said, this is a Cancerian energy and it is deeply intuitive energy. Say, I've got to rethink how I'm approaching this now. And I feel as soon as you reassess the situation, that is when you just go like lightning, you know? Uh, this is a big shift as well, a big shift. And it's when you're in your power and you master what has been getting on top of you now. This is a new beginning in a way, the, the magician. Uh, beautiful energy. So I'm gonna pull a card to finish the reading. What do we have, please? 4th of June, 2020. Yeah. <laughs> I love this, the field mouse. It's interesting, every time this card comes out, I keep on feeling the mouse that roared. <laughs> and I do feel that you are getting back into your energy, your drive, your control, your power now. Uh, there is success here. There is absolutely success ahead. Believe in yourself and dare to dream big. That's what the star asks you. The universe asks you. Think bigger. Dream bigger. And make it happen. But really focus on one vision, one goal. Don't try to do it all at once. Because you will just end up burdened. The success is when you do the evaluation. Powerful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.